Hello and welcome to Stampscaping 101. This is a lesson on what maybe not to do, or it's a lesson on test your media surface compatibility. All right, so what we have here is a photo print on glossy photo paper, you know, just like from your Costco or whatever, any place that prints photos. And it's probably the same type of paper that you'd use at home for your inkjet printer. Okay, so what I did on this one right here, this is a past lesson. I don't remember what number it is, but it's from a few years ago. I didn't know that I kept this piece, but I did. And one of the things that I noticed, I don't know, probably about two weeks after I had done the, the lesson, um, the ink had kept moving on me. It kept uh, kind of blurring out. In other words, it never dried, okay? And that was the VersaFine Claire. I don't remember which one it was. Um, they're both pretty much the same, all right? In terms of the viscosity of them and the formula, VersaFine Claire is a little bit better though. Um, the images that I used were this writer here, a fairly solid image, okay? Leaves and the Seaside Cove. Now, if we look carefully at this piece, I'm gonna zoom in as close as I can here, but you'll notice the ocean, you know, it seems okay, not too bad in terms of the impression quality, but the leaves here and this figure, the lady writer, totally blurred out, okay? Because these two stamps are much more solid in nature. This one, I mean, there's not a huge amount of area to it in terms of um, one large spot, but the leaves are solid, okay? So it'd be like, I don't know, kind of like beads of ink sitting on the surface where this one right here would have these little micro dots um, in terms of a ink buildup on those. So if those ones blur out a little bit, let's say 50%, it's still noticeable, but not so much as something that's, I don't know, like an eighth of an inch or even like a half of inch or inch wide here, but a half inch tall. In terms of a solid impression of built up ink. Okay, so I took a look at this about two weeks after I had done it and I noticed everything's kind of blurring out on me. I was like, wow, okay. Emul this emulsion coating is meant for water-based ink, all right? So for example, your inkjet printer inks are water-based. The pigment inks of like the Claire's, I would imagine the color box, Claire Snap type of um, inks, they're, they're oil-based inks, okay? So it just sat on the surface and it didn't penetrate that water-based um, designed uh, surface here, the paper, okay, that emulsion paper on there. So it blurred out after two weeks, but then, I don't know, I, I have no idea how long this ink kept um, moving, but I would guess that it kept moving for, I don't know, could be months or something like that because this looks completely different. It's almost, you know, unrecognizable in terms of the leaves here. Okay, I mean the figure here, you can tell that's uh, you know someone on horseback, but you can just tell the figure there is completely blurred out like that. So just test your media compatibility. Um, if you're ever curious about things, one of the things that I've come to start doing, if there's kind of any question about something, is I just use stays on if it's a black impression. I don't have a bunch of colors of stays on. Um, but that's going to work on just about everything, unless you're coloring with alcohol markers or something like that, and you don't want to put that type of solvent-based ink back into solution, okay? But on photo papers, uh, the Brilliance water-based pigment inks work just fine. Dye-based inks work just fine. They're water-based. And uh, Stazon works on them. Okay, but it also depends on if you're going to do a little bit of coloring on here, like photo papers and whatnot. I enjoy uh, coloring um, with, uh, I don't know, sometimes if it's just the impression on here, 
If I want to add a little bit of that blue, alcohol markers work really great for that. So instead of using something like a solvent-based stazon, which will go back in solution when you dissolve it with alcohol, your water-based dye ink on there, so that when you color it with alcohol, alcohol and water don't mix, so um, it applies there um, very easily. I've been doing other things like applying some brilliance down, stamping over it and coloring, coloring pencils, stuff like that. But uh, if there's any uh, questions about um, compatibilities and you just don't wanna you know, take the time to test it out, drop me a note in the comment section or in your email and just say, hey, I have this type of ink. Is it gonna work on the photo paper? And I'll let you know. Okay, so anyways, interesting. Um, I guess it was an experiment. I thought it was a scene. <laughs> But I, I don't know, maybe I'll keep this one. Uh, like I said, I, I thought I tossed it out you know, when I've talked about um, compatibilities before when people have asked me. So I don't know, maybe I'll just keep it as a reference. Okay, anyways, hope that was helpful and uh, thanks for watching.